and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some veteran mill. This is going to be a crazy, crazy deck that we have going on here. So this was a donation deck, a viewer submitted donation deck. They said they got it from Swim's stream and it looks like we're going to uh, do some crazy stuff. Hopefully it works out. All right. So the goal of the deck is to um, mill our opponent out. And what that means is we want them to draw all of their cards. Because if you, if you draw, if you have to draw a card and you don't have a card left in your library, you lose the game. And so that's what we're going to be trying to do is make our opponent lose the game um, in that respect. So the way that we're going to do that is first have Smooth Soloist reduce the cost of our allies by two. So we need to have a Smooth Soloist do that. Not too difficult. All right. And then um, we're going to, like with our counterfeit copies, we're going to want to put more veteran investigators in our deck. Because then the key is going to be veteran investigator. When I'm summoned, all players draw one. That's what we're going to be doing is, is playing that and having our opponent draw cards with veteran investigator. But we need a lot of veteran investigators to make them draw, you know, like 20, 25, 30 cards. We're going to need, you know, 20, 25, 30 veteran investigators. So to get that, we're going to, we're going to be counterfeit copying those veteran investigators into our deck and then we also want to have chief mechanist zevi or two in play because then whenever we draw a card we give it fleeting and create a copy so you know like it'll cost zero mana the veteran investigator and if we have like a zevi in play when we draw one investigator we get two of them and so you know we can play both of them and draw two more cards and hopefully one of those two cards is another copy of veteran investigator and so on and because if, if we draw a counterfeit copies, when we have that Zevi in play, we get two counterfeit copies and we can use both of them um, on the investigator. And then we get eight more investigators in our deck. Right. And so then we're just going to do that and try to fill our deck with investigators and um, try to then keep drawing investigators and keep having them draw more. And then they're fleeting and you get a bunch of them and then just keep playing them until your opponent runs out of cards and they lose. <laughs> So crazy, crazy deck here. That's that's the goal. Let's see if we can pull it off. We're going to be going over to normal. We're going to be playing five games and hopefully at least once, you know, at least once. I'll be sad if we don't get to pull it off at least once. Um, but, you know, we're going to give it a try. All right. And then we also have so we have some Teemos in here just to maybe give them some puff caps. Like if they're going to draw all their cards, they'll just draw some puff caps. That's something that we could do as well all right so katarina timo this is either my katarina timo deck that's like a control deck or i guess it could be just an aggro deck with those um those regions i'm just gonna keep the coral creatures that replaces itself the zap spray fin that draws a card all right well we found so soloist and so now i need <clears throat> now i need um that warning shot back. So, so Coral Creatures is pretty nice because it makes a card that's, you know, useless like this Jettison and then we can discard that Jettison to these other things. There's counterfeit copies. That'll be good if we find an investigator. No going back. Draw on these rummages, but I don't really have things that I want to rummage right now. That's good at taking down Katarina. We can rummage away one smooth soloist because we only really need the one. This might and I guess I could could rummage the other rummage. Let's see what we draw first. All right, so we definitely need that card. We're not rummaging that away. Small, but 
See, I wish I had the Jaw Hunters and the Coral Creatures first. Like, I wish I still had that other Rummage that could discard these other cards. Okay, well, Parlay... There's a warning shot. I was going to say Parlay is a way to enable Smooth Soloist, but warning shot's a better way. Oh, there's Evie. Battering Ram. Okay, so the question is... My... I guess I'm copying Investigator now. That's the real question, is like, when do I want to copy the Investigator? When do I want to get the more Investigators in my deck? And I think the answer is now that we have... Now we already got Zevi. Alright, so the problem is... We Okay, we only have five puff caps. Okay, so that's not that much of a problem. Well, hey, what's up? I'm Nutter. Sunday fun day. All right, here we go. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? They are fleeting, so might as well play them. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? Observe and go. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? No. Poor Twisted Fates. Excellent crime scene. That's it. Beg your pardon? Yeah, we just don't, don't have any mana right now, so, like, really the only thing that I can be drawing is the veteran investigator to, to keep that going. Next turn, I'll feel a lot better when we have the extra mana. Like, we can draw counterfeit copies and use copies. So, I, I'm keeping this investigator in my hand. Okay. There they go. Oh, Maybe with those hex lens specs. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We're still going? We're not going to have any of these left in our deck. I'm just going to run out of cards. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? All right, so I'm at 20 cards. They're at 21, so they technically have more cards than me. So it, it's probably not good for me to to play Zonite Urchin then. No, Harvey. <sighs> All right. Yeah, we need counterfeit copies. That's what we need. Uh, you can kind of see her. See, there, there she is. She's sitting in the bed. Usually, puppy sits in that bed. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. Copies. Copies. Now, I guess I only draw one card. I'm probably taking, like, lethal damage this turn. Only fools 
have another Mystic Shot in here, I would assume. Probably need to look for Mystic Shot for one of these things. Let's see. Whoa, what is going on? There we go. Let's see if I block, 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 block. Okay, I'll still go to seven. That's not too bad. I only have four puff caps. I'm going to six. Double trouble. They have eighteen cards left, I have twenty one. I just gotta hope they can't do six damage to me, can't give me like six puff caps. Counterfeit copies is the best card for us to see. There we go, good, because we get more copies, more cards in our deck, so that's like less cards per puff cap. They just keep saying the exact same thing over and over. Oh, uh, that's a problem. More puff caps. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? This is the hard counter to our deck. Alright, I don't think I can get them to... I, can, I don't think I can play 14 more of these and not draw three puff caps. So I think I kind of have to just stop here. Unfortunately. I mean, I guess I could, I could play Twisted Fate over one of these and just red card. Kill a blocker. I'm always up for a round or two. Who says I don't share? More equipment for the field. I don't just make them. Well, their deck plays tons and tons of burn spells. I think that the chances that I win this game is very low. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Yeah, the chances I win this game is very, very, very low. Puff caps, the hard counter to my deck. We we had our combo. We could have gone it. We could have just kept on going forever. But puff caps were just the hard counter. I couldn't. I couldn't draw anymore. Of cat peddler. Officer J. S. Hawkdaw. You did evening, officer. All right, so we got to draw a mystic shot. Mystic shot. Nope. All right, still pretty sweet. If it wasn't for Puff Cat Peddler, we would have had the win. We had the combo. We had like all of the stuff that we needed. Um, yeah, I hope we have that same kind of hand again. But we got to pull off. We got to pull off our combo. So I think we, I think I could have gone infinite with all those. Yeah, like I definitely could have gone infinite with all those investigators and everything with our puff cap or with our counterfeit copies that we had. But they had the answer. I mean, these these are my my combo cards, but there's just no interaction. Do I just keep 
Do I keep everything, though? I'm gonna just keep everything. And hope that with this draw, it didn't work, but then all the other draws that we just draw things to play and an interaction for our opponent keep us from dying. And so I don't want to counterfeit copies investigator yet. I want to wait on that like we did because I don't want to just draw more investigators right now. Right now I want to draw interaction. Okay, that's not bad. That's good. Something else we can play. Don't need to yet. Anything helps. That's just going to help thin out my deck for more veteran investigators later. I don't think I just don't think I play the counterfeit copies yet. But I have the spell mana to play it. I definitely do not want to spend all of my mana on that thing. Alright, so that card is probably good to keep for like rummage and everything. But I'm casting it because I'm I'm going for in two turns. No, not yet. <laughs> okay, well, we drew a spray pen. Let's say in two turns they draw a puff cap for my smooth soloist. That's what I was going for. <laughs> Which I know is kind of silly. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think Peddler Chumpwump could definitely be in, in this deck, definitely. They could go for more of a puff cap thing of having them draw puff caps. Absolutely. Where's warning shot? When you need it. You dream it, I'll build it. I either need to draw a warning shot or they draw a puff cap. Draw a puff cap. More equipment for the field. Mm. Built to spec. No warning shot. Finest gear for Piltover's finest. Yep, that's my plan, Zevi and Timo. I think there's only two warning shots in this deck, and that feels like that's not enough. Alright, so they drew a puff cap. 
So we have plunder turned on. We just have to not die. This is us not dying. Okay, I th we'll see if we can get them from here, but I kind of think that we will. Come on a musical journey. Surrender to the melody. So 28 cards. Let's go. We gotta get 28. That's one. <laughs> We have mana for one more counterfeit copies if we draw counterfeit copies. I mean, I could probably just wait till next turn and do a lot of this too. There's counterfeit copies. These are these are fleeting, so like there's no reason to like just go to next turn and try you know to try this out next turn with more mana because these are just fleeting. We're just gonna play as many of them as we can. This is crazy that they just keep repeating the same thing too. Okay, I kind of want to draw other things. I don't want to keep drawing these. I don't think. I want like next turn to draw more of them, I guess. Maybe with those hex lens I don't know, let's see, so they're at 19. We're at 23. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? Ah, uh, rummage would have been good to have next turn. If I didn't play this, I would have had rummage. Okay, we got better investigator. That's that's better. That's better than rummage. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? And now we got we got more mana for. Uh, counterfeit copies, right? Like that's something we'd like to find. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? Oh no! They call me a shark. Don't put me down to three. I'm at three. I have no puff caps in my deck. They have one mana. I don't think they can do three damage with one mana, right? Like probably not. I'm always up for a round or two. I could use Good. Something. Keep this going. Because I don't want to empty my last my last veteran investigator because of counterfeit copies. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? What am I supposed to save? What am I supposed to save warning shot for? No. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? Officer J S Hawkjaw. 
for flipped twist. Oh, for after I've level up twisted fate. Maybe with those hexlens specs, eh? Now this game's heating up. Alright, well that's two mystic shots. And they're at six. They have one elusive blocker. Too many cards in hand. I guess I should have cast the Mystic Shots first. Double trouble. Cards left seven. Cards left eight. Kill them with mystic shots. I'm gonna kill them with like Teemo. Officer J. S. Hawkyard, you did six evening, officer. Soak it in. <laughs> this is the most amusing one turn combo I've ever seen. You could say that with both abusing and annoying, probably. Alright. Having the Teemo hit second, so the Teemo would do the lethal damage. Never underestimate the power of the scout's code. Okay, and we're one and one. Pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> In the end, they died to elusives. I know, I know. I can't. Uh, I can't quite get Harvey back here. Oh, there's puppy. Well, there's. There's one of my dogs. There's puppers. Here's the other one, Harvey. There's Harvey. Uh, let's see. We're gonna get rid of those and get rid of this and keep that and keep this. There we go. All right, the puppers are on stream. Second rummage. I don't need second rummage. All right, so we'll rummage away the mushroom cloud. We'll rummage away the thing that we create from coral creatures. So I'll be, you know, draw two cards with those. 
We're getting our combo. So pretty. <laughs> getting our combo. I still gotta find that. Uh, let's pass turn while they're wasting mana. Still gotta find that warning shot or something like that. It's not bad to. It's okay to not have counterfeit copies yet and wait till like after we play Zevi and then draw the counterfeit copies because then they're they're doubled up, so that's better counterfeit copies. Jailbreak. We're gonna keep that. Keep that to discard. See if we find something else to discard. <laughs> I love coral creatures getting mystic shotted. Probably gonna need Mystic Shot next turn with the Smooth Soloist. There's a right tool for everything. And yeah, maybe I shouldn't be playing Zevi right now. Yeah, you know, with Thermogenic Beam. Guess we don't need to be doing that yet. Oh, there's a warning shot. That's good. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. Close your eyes and drift away. Seize the opportunity. The dead don't need riches. up space. Getting the coral creatures out of here, freeing up space. Alright, I need another Zevi. Ooh, I'll take one mana Jaw Hunters. That's not bad. Now, Jaw Hunters, the, the sea monsters that Jaw Hunters creates does not get the minus two cost from the Smooth Soloist. Encourage. All right, well, I'm definitely rummaging away Terror of the Tides. Don't think I want Terror of the Tides. Question is, what do I want to do with this Twisted Fate? Red or blue? Well, red card looks like it's a good. I don't know if red card's actually that good. Yeah, it probably is good. Never lost a fair game or played one. Who says I don't share? I want to play this investigator first to give them more opportunity to do. Play something else. A game. Go on then. Finding details is my duty. My selection speaks for itself. Rude. Blood and guts. No, they took 
They took one mana Jaw Hunters. Ugh. I don't have a veteran investigator anymore. Because I played it out. We're at three out of eight. Mmm. Definitely considering just discarding both of these counterfeit copies, to be honest. And just drawing two more, making this five out of eight. Twisted Fate, pick a card. We'll level up this Twisted Fate. How do you win now? I mean, just attacking. Like, that's that's the plan, is just attacking. Just playing a straight-up game. We won't be able to we won't be able to combo kill them. Pick a card, every card. <laughs> I don't really see any reason why Pool Shark should block the 2 2 quick attack over the 2 2 non quick attack. Like, this could be a, a 2 1 with the clump of lumps right now. I don't have Rex. Ugh. Why Rex? I don't think I cast Rummage to get red card. I don't know, maybe. No, I definitely don't. Cast this mystic shot now to get blue card. Soak it in. Well, my best play is Zevi first, but before Investigator, but I need to block this Rex, so I guess Teemo is going to be my locker. Which means, if, I was planning on blocking with the Investigator, which is why I Mystic Shotted it, but I guess I could have Mystic Shotted them. You dream it, I'll build it. We play in bilge rules, son. Observe and go. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? Why do these cost four? Oh, because pick a card created them. So pick a card created them, so it went back to four, so they don't have they're not two mana. Oh, 
built to spec. <laughs> Double trouble. Okay. Counterfeit copies the spray fin. I have seven cards left. Yeah, I mean, I guess the spray fin. Alright, back to my attack. So they get, they're drawing an extra card because of the pool shark. Huh. The matter. All right, put him down to three. Scratched. Ouch. Stop. I think their Ezreal's leveled up yet. Surrender to the melody. Close your eyes and drift away. So four of these ten cards we know are spray fins. Built to spec. Ugh. <laughs> so close. Ezreal said 15 out of 8. I don't know if I've ever seen Ezreal say 15 out of 8. So close. One little damage. Alright, so that's an Ezreal Mystic Shot. Does five total, puts me down to four. I do one damage. I could use two of me. That's it. Yay. Yay. <laughs> two and one. As long as we don't play against puff caps. Puff caps are the natural enemy, as we found out. Because we went we would have gone infinite that first game, but Puff Caps made us, you know, we just took too much damage from drawing Puff Caps. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe that one. Yeah, that, this deck's pretty sweet. <laughs> Turns out just drawing like tons and tons and tons of cards is still good. Okay, let's keep turn one Teemo. Let's try that. I'm going to get rid of the Rummage. With me having like mini rummage here with urchin. Oh, I don't have the attack token on turn one. I probably shouldn't even be trying turn one Teemo then. This is a removal heavy deck. At least it's not like make it rain. All right, get him, Teemo. Get him. Slippery. Oh. I did my best. 
You did your best. Problem is I have nothing to, you know, I have nothing to discard with this urchin. Gotta go with the flow. Cool. Got our combo. Now we got got to have some way to turn on smooth soloist. That's the next thing. Some way to turn on smooth soloist. So I did want to like play something last turn and then they play Swain. So I held up thermogenic beam for that. If I play Zevi here, they may just play Swain, but I mean, let's see. Okay, so this uh, this doesn't quite kill Swain. With if I play Twisted Fate now. Yeah, maybe a pass is good for me. Alright, they can't kill Zevi. But I can't. Never I can't turn on Smooth game. Soloist. We need a draw. We need to find Warning Shot. Soak it in. Warning Shot. Clumpo Lumps. All right, found a way to turn on Smooth Soloist. Give them Puff Caps. No, they didn't draw Puff Cap. Their hand is filled. They have 10 cards. The problem with playing Zevi is I don't have, like, space in my hand to, like, draw a whole bunch of stuff and play it. I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna try it, though. <clears throat> Next turn we'll have 8 mana, so I'd only have 1 extra mana with Smooth Soloist if I cast Thermogenic Beam. Not a puff cap. My hand's too full. Too full.
Yes, Zevi stays alive. That's good. All right, here we go. Um, I'm going to play this. So they have four mana still. No. You did six. No. We gotta draw another Zevi. Smells like opportunity. You should stay. I'll recite your rights. Oh, we need another Zevi. Are you at Zevi? Finding details is my duty. Uh, I guess I go blue card. Well, we can keep trying. Like, Thermogenic Beam's another option to rummage away, but killing Leviathan is probably pretty important. So I guess I keep doing this. Occurred. No, we broke the game. Come on, Runeterra. Come on, little buddy. You can make it. No. Okay, so we got a Teemo. Alright, so we'll rummage away this and Teemo. These would have been the things to... Those would have been better to have before the rummage. All right, that'll let us draw another card whenever we thermogenic beam that. We're going under. Now I don't have the mana. With the counterfeit copies. Precious work leaves twice as much. All right, so where is Twisted Fate at seven out of eight? Oh my gosh, I just messed this up. It's at seven out of eight. I didn't even look at that. Oh, if I would have played this, it would have been eight, and then I could have played this and gotten blue card, but then I wouldn't have had the other thing for the... Well, still got rummage. Looks like I'm on a hot streak. 
Oh, but now I can't I can't use rummage because then I don't have the blue card anymore. All right, GGs. Okay, so if I would have, I should have checked that. So if I would have played the other thing first, we would have flipped, and then we would have played the Jaw Hunters for blue card, and then I would have been able to play Rummage or Counterfeit Copies for red cards. We would have killed their one blocker. So I could have killed that blocker first. <laughs> so yeah, so then... Yeah, then we're going to go to open attacks, going to be able to kill them. <laughs> All right. Three and one with Veteran Mill. Combo deck working out. And we have a mirror match? I think we may have a mirror match on our hands. I think we got a cheeky mirror match. But we got turn one Teemo on the play. Nothing like the great outdoors. And we know that puff caps are the death of our decks because we're both just going to draw millions of cards. So puff caps are the death of that. No! Ugh! No, Timo. So pretty. Needed that Timo. We have a parlay to take down their Timo if they have a Timo. Counterfeit copies. It's going to be important to be the person that doesn't mill out as the person that counterfeit copies more. Counterfeit copies more. Deal me in. That could be an important thing. Soak it in. This is going to be just a crazy match. Kind of need to keep this parlay also for these smooth soloists. Never mind. Killing Jaw Hunters. draw something to play. It does feel really weird that we're not playing the 4 mana 4-3. Hmm. Our hand's pretty ugly. Yeah, we could counterfeit copies, counterfeit copies, to get draw more counterfeit copies. For that is definitely something we could do. Finest gear, the Piltover's finest. I'll scout ahead. Oh, it doesn't mean everything. We need to find Veteran Investigator first, though.
That was a good time to play the veteran investigator with me having the Zevian play. Close your eyes and drift away. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Or played one. Alright, Coral Creatures gets us one mana spells that we can rummage. Unfortunately, we're not really doing anything with the attune mana. Huh. I guess I, I mean, I could have just rummaged the coral creatures, I guess. Same thing. Just get these one twos out there. Rummage, rummage. Could rummage Zevi. I guess if I want to try to kill them this turn, I should be rummaging Zevi. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? What is this? What is this? So I have no counterfeit copies left in my deck. <clears throat> I don't think spending my mana for rummage is honestly really the best right now. I am going to just put a whole bunch more counterfeit copies back in the deck. Let's just do that. we got to find one Investigator. It's going to be the hard part. And now I'm probably just going to... I'm just going to rummage away these two. Look for the one Investigator. Once we find one Investigator, we're good. Yeah, exactly. I, I that's what I was thinking. Like I just shouldn't rummage with zero mana with with the Zevi. I could use two. Officer J S Hawklaw. I'm gonna level up their Twisted Fate. Is that a problem? I can only draw one more card this turn, so it's not necessarily a victory if I don't draw a veteran investigator. Surrender to the melody. I mean they have they kinda have their combo also. Just hold on to this mushroom cloud. I don't know, you know, like maybe we draw like a rummage. We're gonna have to get a good draw here. Rummage or veteran investigator would be the best. There we go. Alright, do I give them 10 puff caps? No, 10 puff caps isn't gonna be killing them. Maybe with those hex 
Porcelain specs, eh? <clears throat> I'd like to file an equipment. They, so they have a combo also. I have a ton of cards, you know, even though I have the seven puff caps, I, we've put a ton of cards into the deck. So we're going to be milling them out first, because our deck is just filled with this and counterfeit copies, basically. I'd like to file an equipment request. Another late proof, Ben Hoffner? Built to spec. Okay, we can work towards leveling up Twisted Fate. Observe and good. Maybe with those hex lens specs. Do I even want a blue card? Yeah. I'm always up for a round or two. Yeah, I just gotta hope that we don't draw those puff caps. That's that's the hope. No. Puff caps are the death the death of us. <laughs> are there losses because of puff caps? This one it looks like we can go infinite if we don't have you know like yeah with all this draw with Zevi. We should easily be able to play 18 more veteran investigators. It's just can we play 18 more veteran investigators and not take three damage? That's gonna be tough. Now especially with that other one. We would definitely win if it wasn't for these puff caps. Officer J. S. Harkdor, you did see this evening, officer. The problem is, will we win with these puff caps? They have 17 cards left. All right. We still have the attack token. And Maybe with those pets lens specs, eh? Oh yeah, I think it's a good chance that we lose this because of the puff caps. And Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? More equipment for the field. I need to draw like counterfeit copies. Yeah, they're just getting a card out of their hand. I need to draw counterfeit copies. So that I can put more copies of cards back into my deck that don't have puff caps. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? I could use two of me. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? Built to spec. Observe and go. Maybe with those hex lens There we go. Ah, uh, I don't have room for more counterfeit copies. Observe and go. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? Oh, this is a crazy game. I could use two of me. This is a crazy game. Maybe with those hex lens specs, eh? Yeah, get rid of Mystic Shot. Eyes open. This is just gonna get burned. So yeah, we if it wasn't for puff caps, we'd easily have this win. We're doing great at not drawing puff caps. Maybe 
with those hex lens specs, eh? I have to kind of think also of like how can I, you know, like can I attack and, and kill them, you know, just an attack out. I can now replace this Twisted Fate. I can play new Twisted Fate and go through red card, gold card again. Down to four. All right, GGS. Crazy, crazy game. That was awesome. The mirror match. Oh yeah, that whole game was just chance. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, well, it wasn't the whole game. You know, like we did our best. Um, that was pretty awesome. Whoa, low key beast with the Twitch Prime sub. Y'all get some hype in for the low-key beast. The beast with the sub. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the odds of the mirror match are, but that was pretty awesome. Um, yeah. <laughs> if you like if you like casting cards and drawing cards, drawing cards, casting cards, if you just want to sit there, draw cards, cast cards, um, you know, annoy your opponent, bore your opponent to death, um because they're not doing anything because all you're doing is draw cards, cast cards. This deck is the deck for you. Just try not to run into puff caps. Puff caps are your natural enemy, but we really felt pretty strong against other stuff. We didn't really face the tier one decks either. Um, at least not, I don't know, we played some Ezreal decks, but we just didn't play like Frostbite midrange, you know, like a deck like that that can really attack us super fast. Um, so we didn't, didn't uh, face that. Um, but as far as our deck goes, I, uh, I don't know, it actually, like, okay, it does seem like our deck should have, um, Chumpwump in it. I don't think, I don't think, uh, I don't think it needs Peddler, but it does seem like Chumpwump would be really good in our deck, because, you know, it creates the two Mushroom Clouds also, so two copies, that's great for Rummage, um, or you can just cast them as is. But, and, it, and I definitely wanted another warning shot because there was just so many times I wanted a warning shot. Um, Alejandro getting us to the sub goal for today. Thank you, Alejandro. Awesome. Thank you so much. But then, like, kind of going through and looking at the list, I don't really know what I'd really want to take out for that kind of stuff because we saw there, like, having... All these two these two drops, like how they cost zero, that's really important, them costing zero later on. Maybe Chumpwump would be better than Jaw Hunters, um, cre you know, creating that sea monster, having the challenger. Jaw Hunters can do a good amount of stuff, but, you know, maybe it's better just getting Mushroom Clouds, to be honest. Um, yeah, so, like, maybe that would be an upgrade, Jaw Hunters, a Mushroom... And honestly, maybe Sprayfin, same kind of thing. Like, Sprayfin was just fine. Like, Sprayfin was definitely not bad, but I wonder if Chumpwump getting two Mushroom Clouds would be better. Because um, there's a there's just a lot of times, like, where we'd have, like, Rummage, we couldn't really cast it. Um, and you want more things to discard for, like, Urchin and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this is another really fun deck to play. I hope you all enjoyed watching that, because that was, yeah, that was uh, pretty crazy with some of those games, especially the last few. That was a lot of fun. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, feel free to leave those comments also. Let me know what you think of the deck. If you've been playing it yourself, let me know how it's going. Um, and yeah, any kind of like upgrades or anything, feel free to leave some comments. Let me know what you suggest if you're playing it a lot. But that's it here for Veteran Mill. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.